Hey there. Before this video starts, I just want to remind everybody that through the entire month of May, we are raising money for 2023 St. Jude Play Live. We have rewards and milestones, and you can check everything out through the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today, we have a patch that just dropped, and it's got some quality of life stuff, some bug fixes, some balancing changes. Overall, I think it's a pretty decent patch that addresses most of the recent issues that we've all had with the game. Not mentioned in the patch notes, but we actually do have a new content addition to the game. It is an augment for the warmonger called Flamewalker, and essentially it does exactly what it says. It lets them exist in flames, so essentially incinerators or any napalm that's left behind by incinerators, warmongers can just walk freely, no damage. To start off with, we have raiding. The big, most talked about exploit in the game, the second wave corrosive cubes has now been fixed. They no longer detect people uh, when they have the second wave mod on, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. The harvester will no longer be killed if you put a piston trap at the beginning of the level. And this also applies to when it comes back to deposit any of the harvested gen mats. So you don't have to worry about um, mazes anymore that use the killing of harvest at the beginning to prevent you from figuring out where you're going. Uh, apparently there was a bug where uh, the plasma clouds from the sentinel traps with that mod on would not be visible to co-op players, but I never encountered that. But hey, at least it's fixed. Now, I knew this was a bug, but honestly I thought that it was so funny that I just never really considered it a bug in my head. But now when you revive your friends in co-op, they no longer have like a weird position <laughs> when they get revived. Uh, basically, a lot of the co-op loadout stuff has been fixed. There was a problem with bio links and slots two and three. If you had your suits mastered and you were changing them around, uh, you couldn't mess with those. And then there was the bug where the Volt Lancer would just go back to having two bolts, even if you had the second upgrade. That has been fixed. They fixed a uh, matchmaking priority bug where if you deactivated and reactivated your outpost, it would mess around with your matchmaking priority on your base. And then apparently they fixed an issue where you could theoretically force close your game after collecting your loot inside your base and it would just be there again, and, but you would still keep all the loot you got. So you could infinitely uh, loot anything that raiders dropped in your base. No longer a thing you can do. There is now more of a confirmation menu when you go to delete your outposts instead of clearing them or just saving them. You can no longer have the purchase button available if you don't have the like right amount of currency to buy the thing. This is a fix for a bug that was in the game where if you tried to buy something you didn't have enough currency for, it would take forever to realize you didn't have the currency. And uh, one thing that I'm sure some people might appreciate but like not realize is that you can now use the directional buttons on controllers or your numpad on your keyboard to actually go through and pick your accolade. As I mentioned before in previous videos, raiders will no longer lose ranking points when abandoning a raid, and it's also no longer possible to receive less than zero ranking points as a raider or builder after you successfully complete a raid or are being raided. Ranking points earned in bronze and silver have been made significantly more lenient when considering raider deaths and slightly more in gold and master as well. Builders will now receive more ranking points for their first kill with an increase from 30 to 75 ranking points. And builder ranking points loss has been reduced across all ranking tiers. Next to the prestige system for outposts. The prestige system and prestige requirements have been reworked, making it far more achievable to prestige your outposts particularly if you get accolades. So this should help people who build auto bases or bases that are more creative and artistic than dangerous and lethal. The number of prestige points earned from accolades has been increased from 20 to 40 points. And the amount of prestige points earned from raider kills have been rebalanced to weigh the first kills more highly but diminish more quickly. Now the prestige point requirements are the same across all burial sites and are now consistent from levels five through 10 rather than growing with each level. The new prestige point requirements are as follows. To reach prestige two, you need 120 prestige points. Prestige three is 150. Prestige four is 180. And from prestige five to prestige 10, it's 200 prestige points per each level. We do have a bit of a currency adjustment for hardware. Now all hardware has been increased by five parts. So spike drives are now 15 parts. Blast grenades are now 15 parts. Flash barriers are 25 parts. And Phoenix pods are 35 parts. And to end off this patch, we do have some player XP balancing. So now you can earn more XP before the values start to diminish. So essentially before, if you broke enough traps from repeating the base over and over and over, it would start diminishing your XP. You'd get maybe one XP for breaking a trap. Now you can earn more XP before that starts happening. All right, that'll be it for this video. I think this is a pretty good patch. Personally, I'm excited that the prestige system has been reworked and that ranking seems a bit more fair for builders because I feel like builders weren't getting enough rank 
uh, for doing well and creating their bases. People are given freedom to make better bases now that accolades are worth more. So people are more incentivized to build bases that are fair and actually fun, or at least cute and creative, rather than kill boxes, because now accolades are going to be worth so much more. With that said, I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Peace.